from Hackney, ladies and gentlemen, the welterweight champion of Great Britain, Kirkland Lang. At the weigh-in today, Smith scaled 10 stone 6 and a quarter pounds, Lang 10 stone 6 pounds. The referee for this contest, Mr. Roy Francis, timekeeper, Mr. Ray Rice. So it's over to the referee, Ray Francis, to bring the boxers together. And Gary Mason joined me again at ringside. Remarkable to find the champion get such a reception. Um, I think Kevin Langley hasn't been the most popular of champions, so it's not really surprising. Um, Trevor Smith is on a winning roll, his supporters are high, and they're looking for big things for him. It's his first major title fight as well, so which will account for the support and everything else. So this is a fight which Trevor Smith's manager, Harry Holland, turned down a year ago. He didn't think his man was ready for a contest at this level. Now he thinks otherwise, as we heard a few minutes ago. Well, the manager, Harry Holland, the last minute instruction or two, the bell goes to start the British Rotherweight Championship contest. And Trevor Smith immediately goes to the champion. Pickman Lang and his familiar guys, hands low at his side taunting and tempting Smith and this is a new problem for Trevor Smith to handle he won't be accustomed to this kind of treatment full of respect for Lang's record over the years it's um, providing Smith can um, keep control of himself and not get um, turned off by Kermit Lang's earlier antics it's going to make for a very good fight but saying that at any time Smith can throw a long punch and it could end even now. So Kirkland Lang hasn't even attempted yet to land a punch on the challenger. It's, um, I think he's trying to frustrate the challenger by saying to him, look, you can't even hit me. So Kirkland Lang for the moment doing a tour of the... Looking at him, daring him to try to... And one on his chin, and Smith is just the man with the conviction and the courage to do just that. That's right, it's very dangerous, for even then it looks as if Kirk just got a little bit of a shot, a taste of what may be to come from Smith. Um, it's very dangerous for someone like Kirk Lang to do that, because one minute he's standing there like that, and the next minute he'll, he could be lying there like that. Well, Kirk and Lang has adopted these tactics over a very long and distinguished career without coming to too much grief, perhaps, although his last fight against Buck Smith ended hopes of going further on at the world level. He was caught late in the fight when he was well ahead in points. Good blow there from Lang as Smith came in. Yeah, Lang's always, he's been a master counter puncher. When I say master, I use that word and it's not an exaggeration. Um, so that's, the, the, there'll be the things, the problems that Smith will have to face up to, but Smith should not look forward to winning any of maybe the first half of the fight. The second half of the fight should be Smith's fight. Certainly no suggestion in this opening round that Kekun Lang was going to try to surprise people with a, an attempt at a quick knockout. He's had one first round knockout in his career, Kekun Lang, and Marvin McDowell. But inside the last half minute of the opening round, this will be a fascinating experience on the other day for the challenger, Trevor Smith. Well, Smith's not, so far to his credit is not getting overly excited. He's staying fairly patient and fairly aware, which is a good thing. You, he will make mistakes with a counter-puncher, but he's, so far they're both fighting, I think, the fight they'd like to. And a fine right-hand punch there from Trevor Smith, right on the bell, bringing his supporters to life here at the Grosvenor House. Lang returns to his corner with a stinging reminder of the fact that Smith is here and he means business. Yes, well, Curtin and Lang, as we said before, he's got to, he's one person more than most, has got to be aware of the big punches. And um, you cannot keep standing there and giving a big puncher a free shot at your chin, as he just did there against Trevor Smith. It's unnecessary. So the overhead camera showing there the damage inflicted on Curtin and Lang. He doesn't look too much troubled at the moment. Mickey Duff there bending over him, his manager, and in the other corner in the 
red corner, Trevor Smith getting further instructions from Harry Holland, the manager. It's all very well, Gary, I think, anticipating how Kitten Lang will fight, but being in there in the ring must be very yeah, different. Now, well, you, you play it by ear, don't you? But I don't think Kitten Lang knows how he's going to fight until he actually gets out there himself. So round two. And Trevor Smith trying to get the closer quarters with the champion. Well, this is where Smith will have more of a chance because Curtin and Lange seems to have come out there and decided to take the offensive. And when you're doing that, it makes you vulnerable to be count to be hit yourself. So the hands held high by Trevor Smith as he comes forward. A complete contrast from Kirkland Lang. The left hand misses there from Smith. Missed by quite a distance. Lying the master of just leaning back out of range. That was a very good body shot. And Kirk and Lang protesting to the referee. Complaining about the blow being low, I think. Referee Ray Francis not interested in the complaints made by Lang. Two minutes remaining in round two. Well, that really is very interesting indeed that Lang should feel the need to look for help from the referee. Yes, it's, um, it's a bad sign when a fight looks for help from the referee. And the, the blow, in fact, it didn't look low to me. I might be wrong, but it generally didn't, didn't look low. It looked like a good shot. So Smith undoubtedly encouraged by that success. Coming forward again. Still hasn't been forced to take too much damage from the champion. Midway through round two. I've seen Smith fight before. One thing you can bank on, Smith's got, a, Smith's got a very sound chin and strong determination. Looks a very powerful fighter indeed. Giving two or three inches in height to the champion. There's that rapier-like left hand coming out from Lang. He appears to be stung into some kind of action against the challenger. And uh, I think maybe Smith might be giving away reach, which is more important as well. Straight left there from Kirsten Lang. Smith keeps on coming. Smith's very composed and he's fighting a perfect fight. Um, Smith cannot really be faulted at this stage for his approach. That was a push. Ooh. And an awkward one there as Trevor Smith became entangled with the top rope. Came to no harm, and no question of that being anything like a knockdown. So the left hand from Lang doing some work now. Trevor Smith trying to that left hook in. Watching Lang is like watching someone you know that disaster could strike at any minute. So I advise the viewers not to even blink. So there's the end of round two. We'll have a short break. You haven't missed uh, blow and anger as the third round begins. Trevor Smith trying to come forward again. Well, this was always seen as the contest of the boxer against the puncher. And it's developing into the fascinating contest we all anticipated. But Kirtan Lang appears to have acquired an instant respect for the challenger. Trevor Smith sticking to the game plan. Um, what the good thing about this fight is that every punch Smith throws, you've got to wonder whether it will land and then what's going to happen when it does land. Well, Trevor Smith has had nine wins in his 14 successes inside the distance. Three of these in round one, so he really does pack a punch all right. Right hand from Smith over the top, catching Lang. Immediate reaction from his supporters. Lang doesn't appear to be in any trouble as a result of that, but Trevor Smith has plenty of support. There's a great left hook there from Kirkman Lang, the champion catching Smith coming forward. But I think Smith composing himself well, he's keeping his hands up. He looks slightly hurt, but he's, he's doing exactly the right things. And he's fighting back, sign of a very good fighter. He's got to calm down and keep controlling himself again. He still looks a little bit um, rocky there, but he's keeping his hands up nice and high and not giving any unnecessary targets. But all stemming from one crisp left hook. A good right followed it, and Trevor Smith has already established a reputation of being one of the toughest 
fighters in the country. He's certainly being put to the test in this third round with Kirkland Lang now beginning to open up and show the craft and the talent which has given him such a long successful career. Once again, a little bit of gamesmanship from the champion, trying to catch Smith unawares. Sometimes it's, it's bad to try and humiliate someone when you think you've got them in that situation. That's why Kirk gets uh, some of the booze that he does get when he enters the ring. That straight left from Lang getting through, though, all too often, I think, for misliking. And Lang certainly now cutting loose. Senses the prospect of victory in round three. But Lang attacked there and Smith even countered whilst he was going backwards, which is a very good sign. Mark my words, this fight's not going to be finished until one of these fighters are finished. So here's Smith again, trying to get forward. Captain Lang standing in the middle of the, room, the middle of the ring, trying to dictate the fight from that dominant position. Trevor Smith ready for the fight of his life and he's certainly going about it is just the way you would expect. So there's the bell for the end of the third round and there's no question that Kirkland Lang has been spurred into early effort by the challenger's good early performance. Yes, um, Kirkland Lang, he's starting to take charge of the fight but all this is, is very predictable. The fight will only really begin after round six, providing Trevor Smith can um, not get frustrated and not get disheartened by the middle rounds, he will go on. A good effort there from Trevor Smith, but he was caught instantly by Lang's left hook. That almost caused major problems for the challenger. Well, punch, a counter punch, they catch you coming in, so, that, so your body weight and their punch, it makes the punch double the, the strength that it would have. But Smith composed himself well, and um, boxed his way, or fought his way back into the fight. Well, his chin certainly was put to the test there. There's the challenger, Trevor Smith. Still looks to be well in control of himself as he comes out now for round four. And all the pundits suggested that it would be Lang who would dominate in the early rounds and Smith would have to hang on until his strength and stamina told later in the fight. Kirkman Lang, though, showed signs in the third round of not wanting the contest to last that long. Well, it'd be in his favour if it didn't last that long. It starts going against him halfway. Smith has come back out and he started as if it was the first round again. Working to the body, hopefully, to tie the man and wear him down for later on. So an amazing contrast in styles. Making for a superb contest. Smith still coming forward. Lang standing in the corner above us. See, now, as you said, Lang is standing in the corner. If you notice, Lang is um, slightly slower. Smith is equally as quick, but Lang is slightly slower, which is dangerous for a man with the style that he's got. And Smith just keeps on coming. Punches coming from every angle from Trevor Smith. Lang having to use his defensive skills to withstand this onslaught. Um, Kirk Lang is not as elusive as he was earlier on. Smith is getting through a lot more punches. Kirk Lang is a lot more flat-footed as well. And um, considering the last round, Smith has come out and he's had a very good round so far. Body shots again, which will, will take its effect. 35-year-old man, <laughs> he's broke. He should be taking punches like that. He's like, should be over his feet up watching it, shouldn't he? But <laughs> <laughs> well, he's right there in the middle of the ring with one minute, 20 seconds left in the fourth. Trevor Smith's facial expression really hasn't changed from the opening bell. Looks grimly determined. Throwing There's punches Trevor. all the time. Now it's, it's warming into a fight. This, is, this fight is Smith's fight now and not Lang's fight. Lang's mixing punches with someone that can punch. Yes, the Trevor Smith corner might be very happy about this. Captain Lang has allowed this to become something of a battle in the middle of the ring. And I think Mickey Duff in the champion's corner would have preferred him to keep it at long range and keep on the move. But a good right hand from Smith. Lang was rocked by that. Smith trying to do it again. Still going with the right hand. Tasted success. With that right over the top. 20 seconds remaining in round four. 
Smith stepping up the pace. And I also think that Lang may be tired as well because even, even when Smith stops throwing punches, Lang's not able to throw any punches himself. All he can do is just ward him off. So Smith going forward all the time though, trying to get a big finish in round four. It's been an excellent run for the challenger. Chuck and Lang will know that. So don't go away, we'll be right back after this break. Welcome back for round five in this tremendous championship contest. Trevor Smith dominating round four and clearly coming out for the fifth, full of confidence. Kirkland Lang showing signs of wear and tear. First won the title in 1979 when he beat Henry Riney, but now in grave danger of going under against this incredible onslaught from Smith. I think Lang is trying to stand there just to say to Smith, they're not really hurting, but mark my word, they are. Lang, um, Smith came out for a lot of body shots in the first round and it slowed um, Kirtner Lang down. He's also done the same thing in this round and instantly Kirtner Lang has slowed down again. So Trevor Smith looking to join the illustrious company, the only British fighter to beat. Kirtner Lang has been Colin Jones from Wales. Great body punches there from Trevor Smith. This is an outstanding performance from Smith. You just remember Smith came back from a round where he was in trouble and he won the, the, set, the next round by far and he's still involved in this fight. And uh, Kirkland Lang hitting by with body shots himself. Oh. Oh. Smith got to take him uh, And Lang going now. forward now with the right hand. Yes, he did. Smith reeling back under that onslaught, looking very tired suddenly. What an incredible comeback by the champion. Now Smith has got to compose himself and get back to his controlled boxing and Lang's got to press the, press the advantage and try and um, keep the man under pressure. Well, Smith has come off the canvas twice so far in his career to win fights. He was knocked down by Simon Paul in his first professional fight, which he won in points. He was also knocked down by Ian John Lewis in his last fight but one. And then came back to win in the eighth. Well, Captain Lang has served notice. He's not here to give up this title easily. It's surprising because I think Smith looked hurt by some of those body shots, but his body looks curved very strong. He looks as if he was the one doing the damage with the body shot. Well, Smith appears to have recovered again. Certainly was in trouble for a moment or two. Now heading back. Well, he appeared to be wrestled down. That wasn't a knockdown. The referee, Ray Francis, checking that the gloves are clean. But no question of that being a knockdown. An awkward landing. Another left hook to the body there from Smith. Then one to the head. This fight could well turn out to be a test of characters. But I still say at the same time, as long as they're standing close range, it's a, it's a fight for Smith. Kirk and Lang again asserting himself. Got a power in the left hand in particular. Kirk and Lang hasn't got the strength to continue the flows after he's hurt the man. So the end of round five. And another outstanding round, but certainly one where Kirk and Lang came back and served notice this was a title he was determined to retain. So, so when you have a champion defending the title, the time when he's at his most dangerous is when he's in trouble, like this. Well, here's Lang coming back. He had taken some good body shots from Smith earlier in the round. Then he head back and had the challenger in some trouble. There's no doubt about that. Go Tremendous back. flurry of blows to the body. Mm. About five or six up, left uppercuts to the body there, which... Got and through. then there was this episode when Smith landed on the canvas. Not even Kirkman Lang was claiming that that was the result of a clean punch. An awkward landing. He lost his balance and a little bit of wrestling there. And he appears to be breathing quite easily in his corner there as he is sent out by his manager Harry Holland for round six. Now we're at the halfway point of the fight and um, if the fight's going to start turning, now's the time where it really will start turning in Trevor Smith's favour. Well, the anticipated pattern of the fight was that Lang would have been well ahead at this stage. I don't reckon he's as far, as far ahead as many of the pundits thought he would be at this stage. That's right, it's been a very different fight from even I assumed it would be at the early stage and it may well change in the later stage as well and i wonder if kirkland lang the champion is thinking now in terms of a little breather in the middle point in the fight 
Trevor Smith certainly isn't by the look of that left hand. I think Kurt Miller takes his breathers in between combinations. <laughs> Smith again going forward, ruffling the champion. Good straight left though from Lang. And Smith is switching the attack from the body to the head. It's a very good effect. Oh. Now what Smith will have to be aware of, he doesn't punch himself out because Kurt Lang, he will wait for him and make him pay once he senses that he may be a little bit tired in any way. So there's a left to the body again from Smith. Remember, remember Lang has a decision over Roberto Duran way back in 1982, but he appears to have defied the oncoming year superbly, Captain Lang. Well, he's being tested to the full now. There's a great punch by Lang. Down goes Smith. One superb punch. And Smith will have to draw all his power, the resilience now, to get back into this fight. Lang looks across, hoping clearly that Smith can get up, but he does. He's back in his feet, encouraged by his supporters. The Harlow man now having to hang on in round six. Smith is now a target to be taken now. He's going nowhere right back now. The fight is stopped. Trevor Smith says stop. It's his first reverse. Kathman Lang retains the British welterweight title with one superb punch, which turned the fight his way in the middle of round six. So the delight clear on the face of Kirkland Lang. What a tremendous performance that was. He waited his time, picked his punches, and as Trevor Smith was sending these flurries of blows his way, he just kept his eye on the challenger and picked him off. So referee Ray Francis stepping in, as he certainly had to. There was no doubt at all that Smith was in no position to defend himself. There's the challenger. He had something of a lesson Our gentleman, please. from the champion. After two minutes and four seconds, sitting in his around room. six, ladies and gentlemen, with Smith not in a position to defend himself, the referee has stopped the contest. The winner, and still welterweight champion of Great Britain, Kirkland Lang. Well, Kirkland Lang retains his title, his 36th win in 44 fights, his 18th inside the distance. And it really was a champion fight, his 18th inside the distance. And it really was a championship performance from Lang. Well, the MC inviting Nipper Reed into the ring to present the belt to the champion Kirkland Lang. Well, the belt is placed on the waist of the champion. Nipper Reed in the middle of the ring there with the ceremony of presenting the belt to Kirkland Lang who's taking the acclaim of the fans. The crowd though remarkably subdued now because